Hi everybody, so in today's video I wanted to show how I've been using automation tools to improve the accessibility of third-party plugins and parts of Logic in general, which aren't accessible to us by default, but also I want to show how you can use automation tools if you're a regular user just to speed up your workflow. So at the minute I've got battery open in complete control. So for a while us as blind musicians haven't really had much access to anything inside of battery outside of being able to change presets, which is great, but one of the things that really was lacking is we didn't have access to the multi-output. So everything's just coming through one fader. And to me, that's been a bit of a deal breaker because I want individual control over all of my drums. So I'm using a tool called Keyboard Maestro and I've got a group of macros set up specifically for battery, which I'm gonna turn on now. Keyboard Maestro, system dialogue. And with these turned on, I can access all of the pads with the keyboard, which obviously I could do with my key, uh, musical keyboard or uh, the my little Akai sampler, which I've got here. Now that we've got access to the pads, I've been able to set up tools which will allow us to reverse samples, pitch samples up, reverse the samples, So that's a lot more access than we already had to begin with. But one of the other things I've now automated is multi-out. So with one shortcut, wait for the ding. Ding. Let me know it's done. I now have access to all of the pads through individual channels. I'm just going to tab out of Logic for a second. Quick time, quick time. Logic, logic. And back in because when you use the macros, it does kill voiceover from talking which can be a bit of a problem, but once you tab back in, it's fine. Now in so if I look, check the mixers, the mixer open. Mixer crew. There it is. So as you can see now, Screen they are all routed across all of the different channels. So that's a lot more access than we have ever had before. And that's improving the accessibility of something without ever having to address any of the code in the plugins. You know, sometimes when you try reaching out to plugin developers, they'll say there's nothing more they can do um, things are too far along in development, we can't change code and you know all those kind of things and that's completely understandable. Like, I don't expect anyone to be completely right in applications and plugins or anything like that to, for us but I just wanted to highlight this as another option because this has taken me a really long time to put together but someone who could see and has also developed the plugin could probably throw us together in an afternoon so I just want to highlight that this could be another option uh, for trying to improve accessibility just offering macros like this but one of the other things I wanted to highlight was just how it can be used in general you know if you find yourself doing something over and over and over again you, you can set up these macros and it'll just speed things up a little bit for you so one of the other things I've got set up uh, just make sure I'm in the arrangement no yes is let's say I want to create a MIDI region at channel 3 and let's say this was a keyboard and I want to draw a chord I could go to channel 3 and with this shortcut now in untitled one. I quickly froze a MIDI region together, drops a note, it's C3. And of the other shortcuts I've got set up for, instead of copy and then paste in place, and which is the way that we have to do things in the piano roll as blind musicians, I can use one key to copy, copy. and paste, move it up, copy. move another one up, we can select Take things, off. we can drag things out, I can quickly change it to a bar, drag it out another bar. So, you know, that's doing everything just with the numerical keyboard. and. I know these are maybe different use cases for me. I've got a different workflow to the majority of people. If you can see what you're doing, you might not need some of these things, but it might be worth having to think about things that you do on a regular basis and how you can speed them up. So uh, I just wanted to say thank you for watching and I hope that you've taken something useful from the video.